Boy. <sighs> What's going on? So if you want to find out my thoughts on 10 great coffee scents, stay tuned and watch. So this is your first time coming across this beautiful bald head. <sighs> One sec. Oh, caffeine. So this is your first time coming across this beautiful bald headed bash and you like this type of content, someone who is sarcastically back and really just does not take himself, this channel, nor this hobby too seriously, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So today guys, we're going to be talking about 10 great, well, uh, some of these fragrances are not great, but they had to make the list just in order to make a top 10, alright? So maybe you want to say that they're honorable mentions, but I didn't want to do a top 5, I wanted to do a top 10, so. But let's get this started. The first fragrance was actually introduced to me from Robes 08, and that is Kerosene's Follow. So don't have a bottle. There's only three bottles in this video. So if that bothers you, move on. I don't care. All right. But the notes to this one are coffee, vanilla, maple sap, tonk bean, benzoin, and amber. I only wore this fragrance twice just because it was a very small sample because I can't blame Mark. It, it, this comes with a bit of a price tag. You know, it's kerosene, it's indie. It, this is quality right here, but what I did get was vanilla, some maple sap, so I did get a lot of the sweetness, but with a very, a very authentic coffee. It's like ripping a bag open of coffee and putting your nose to it. It kind of reminds me of like early morning when you go to the McDonald's or even like Tim Hortons if you're from, from Canada, you get a roasted black coffee. That's what I get. This is probably the most authentic coffee that I have ever come across. Scent number two, let's go with the bottle. This is Robert Graham's Valor. So you get sage, coffee, and amber. This is a great under the radar scent that really does not get a lot of mention. Robert Graham is a fashion brand that really, the clothes that I've come across are just very eccentric. Here's a few pictures. But the fragrances themselves, I love. Minus, I think it's Courage, can't remember, but this one here, it's a, it's a great signature scent. You could dress it down to dressing it up. Very versatile, it's office friendly, it has a bit of a mature vibe to it, but at the same time has a playful disposition. It's more so for an older gentleman who really is like classy, but has a fun side to him. Great scent. And because this channel is all about affordability, let's go with a cheapie because I'm also a cheap son of a gun. Michael Jordan, legend. So what you get, you get coffee, amber, anise, lavender, musk, and tea. It's been a long time since I smelled this one, but you definitely get the amber. You get the anise, you get some lavender, and you definitely get the coffee. It's a great scent for what you're getting, and I can't remember how long it lasted, but this is $20, $25 or less. You can't go wrong with this scent. You could dress it down to something that's maybe semi-formal, but great scent. Scent number four, this one is not for me, but as I stated, I wanted to do a top 10 and not a top five. But this is Mugler's Alien Man Fusion. So you get coffee, leather, ginger, osmanthus, and cinnamon. So with this one, it's pretty much coffee with a lot of earthy, undertones. You get the osmanthus, you get the leather. I think that there's some vetiver to this one, I can't remember, but this is very masculine. It's it's animalistic in some ways, it's very earthy, but you do get the coffee. The coffee in this is probably like the main player and probably what kind of gives it some sort of character because the other notes of this one really just don't work with the scent. Like the scent really was not for me. It was actually one of the worst releases of 2019. But I do know that some people out there may want to check this one out for themselves. And scent number five, let's go with Ralph Lauren and that is Polo Double Black. So you get mango coffee, pepper, nutmeg, and you get cardamom. So this is a pretty interesting fragrance because mango and coffee, who would have thought? So this is a little bit more of a darker version than the Polo Black. This one is more so suited for the uh, the fall and winter, while the black itself is more suited for the, the spring and the fall. 
This is a very unusual type of scent, but it's 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 safe, but at the same time, it's a little bit daring because mango and coffee. Who would have thought? So fragrance number six, let's stick with Mugler. That is Mugler's Amen Ultimate. So you get bergamot, cappuccino, cedar, and balsam fir. So I wasn't sure if cappuccino was coffee. I had to ask my wife because she's the coffee addict and she says yes. So I per se don't really get cappuccino or coffee. I get like a bit of a gourmand vibe. But this fragrance is very sweet. It's very aromatic, but it's also quite woody. This is a fun scent that's really more so for the younger demographics and a night out. On my skin, it lasted nine to 10 hours. Some people have complained about the longevity, but for me, this was beastly and quite strong. Scent number seven, let's go with the infamous butt plug itself, and that is Rojas Man. So you get cappuccino, vanilla, lavender, you get sandalwood, jasmine, and raspberry. So this fragrance is pretty much like pancakes, maple syrup, and coffee. It's kind of like Bond number nine, really. You know, but unfortunately, Bond is not in this one just because, unfortunately, that one is discontinued and becoming a little bit more so difficult to find. But this one here is very gourmandy. It has a sweet vibe to it. This is a fun fragrance where you could dress it down to dressing it up. You can wear it to something that's semi-formal, to a club, to school. It's a great affordable scent that is sexy because it's in the shape of a butt plug. Oh, wow. Rojas, what were you thinking? Scent number eight, let's go with a bottle. This is Ferragamo's Womo Signature. So you get coffee, tonka bean, you get pink pepper, you also get cinnamon, leather, and citruses. This fragrance here, you could dress it down to dressing it up. It, you can wear it semi-formal, formal, not so much, but you can also wear this to the club. It has a younger man's vibe, but at the same time, it has a mature, classy vibe. So if you're an older man who has a playful disposition, this is a great scent. As I said, you could dress it down to dressing it up. It's a great night out fragrance, I find. That's when I personally would wear it, but it's a great overall versatile fragrance. So scent number nine, let's go with a niche that is Montel's Intense Cafe. Wow! When I wore this one, this one was not for me. So, But the notes of this one are vanilla, coffee, musk, amber, and rose. It's a lot of vanilla, coffee, and rose. This fragrance is very, very strong on my skin. It's not one that I like, but it's quite unique. It is unisex, but I find that... This is a fragrance. It's, it's not a fragrance for the bros out there, for the bro chacho kind of guys. This is a fragrance for the gentleman. And when I'm thinking for the gentleman, I'm also thinking older, like 40, 50. This fragrance is great for the office, but also for night out. Like, and I'm talking dressing, you know, very fashionable to a tuxedo. Great overall scent for the older demographics. And the last fragrance in this video, we're gonna go with Roberto Cavalli, just Cavalli Gold. So you get coffee, leather, spices, vetiver, and when it comes to the spices, I believe it's pimento, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I've worn this two, three times, and I'm wearing it right now, but I do get the coffee. This coffee is black, and it's roasted. So it's a dark roasted blend. You do get the leather, and you get the spices to this one. This was, a complete blind buy. You know, I, hell, I didn't even know that it existed. So when I went on Fragrantica to look up coffee based scents, this one came out, sold on Fragrantica for like 30 bucks, had to get it. Unfortunately, this one's a little bit harder to find, but if you can get it for a good deal, because Cavalli, they're very affordable, do look into it. So, guys, that is my. Oh, that's good. It's water. <laughs> it really is. I don't drink coffee whatsoever. But guys, that is my top 10 coffee-based fragrances. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell. Any reviews that I've done on these, they will be down in the description below. So make sure to check those out if coffee-based fragrances interest you. So guys, I thank you for your time. Take care and see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching.